We're back. Is that it, is it? Welcome back to YouTube. That's what it is, is it's it? It's been a few it's been a few years, unfortunately. It has been a few years. It's it? not the mic. I'm still a klutz. I'm still yeah, it's still useless. useless. Yeah. Don't worry about that. But um yeah, we're back. So for those of you that don't know who we are, uh we're Dana Mike, and you've been the best. Yeah. So that's that's, that's good. That's, that's it. Um, they must know who we are, otherwise we won't be on the YouTube. You'd channel. like to think so, but they might have just stumbled across this video. Stumbled. Uh, unfortunately for you. I don't know what the hell you were searching for on YouTube if that's the case. But yeah. you know, you're here now. Welcome. Little Welcome. bald headed fool naturally comes yeah. out. Top search. Yeah. There you go. Obese SMR. Probably the thing they'd be looking after What's you. What's SMR? It? That's the thing where they like, people make sounds. You know, people ASMR. Like, Come on. Yeah, whatever. Get people miss it. out the A though, don't they? So do they? Yeah, these days. Do they? <laughs> is that what the cool kids are doing? <laughs> That's what the cool kids are doing, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're back sharing our thoughts and our insights. So previously with our YouTube channel, we used to do stupid shit. If we were sat at a table, we'd be having an eating challenge. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Yeah. Someone actually commented on your 24,000 calorie challenge the other day. Did they? Because I got a notification to it. That's an yeah. old school video. Yeah, if you've not like, seen that, you know, what do they say? Card up card there up or there. whatever, yeah? Yeah, yeah there, there, there won't be a card. There won't be a card there. there. Yeah. We'd have forgotten about that. Yeah. But yeah, we're back. So previously we used to just talk about fitness stuff. We used to kind of put our own spin on things, try and be a little bit funny. Um, we're not very, very funny at all. But now we've come back because we want to share our journey effectively. Oh, our journey. Go watch that one as well. We did that, did that video. Yeah, yeah. Our journey. Are we going to do any like that again? Yeah, we, look, we'll we're going to. Like but like the bulk of now, I think what we're doing in terms of our YouTube videos and what we want to provide in terms of in terms of some value is just talking through where we've where we've got to in terms of like our business, in terms of where we're at from from coaching clients before one to one to now having a, a business where we have four coaches that work with us. We've got an employee. We've got four hundred clients currently in, in the business, and we want to talk through. A little bit about how we've done that and, and kind of why we've got to, to where we are. Yeah, and, I guess because it goes against conventional wisdom, doesn't it? I, uh, say, wi I say wisdom. I mean conventional shit you hear on social media. It's probably more likely. Yeah, I look, say. I think I think before <laughs> I think it's fair to say like the the YouTube channel was probably um, targeted at idiots. Um, oh, it's still targeted idiots. No, 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 it's still idiots. Yeah, but yeah, idiots yeah. that are online coaches probably. Uh, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah, correct. so it was targeted to the general uh, idiot. Yeah, uh, and this is uh, the general idiot that's fallen into online coaching. That so, <laughs> it's um yeah less kind of like fat loss carbs whatever. Um, they'll still be like I think we'll probably still do spoofs and we'll probably yeah. we might do an eating challenge every now and then. Ooh, Who he's, knows? He's put himself out there for that. Hasn't Who he? knows? Well, I'm about two weeks into that and I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> <You're> getting hungry. <laughs> um, Just an excuse for big meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I want a five guys. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that that's kind of where we're going to go with it and we're probably going to make the channel a little bit more I guess online coach orientated just because for the pure simple fact that there's been in the two years that we've been away or whatever year and a half that we've been away there's been quite an uprising of, of business mentors um, yeah. and like we're not, we're not experts but we're just getting a bit pissed off that people are saying you can't do it like this and it has to be done like that and, it, and it's done this way. So we thought that we would just start to put out some content and rather to say what you, what you should be doing, we're just going to talk about how we've done it. Yeah. And, and then it, at least it gives you an honest insight. And no, one can, and no one can say that's wrong then. No one can say, well, no, well, it needs to be done like that because it's literally just what we've done. Mm. And if you can take any you know insight from that or you know tweak some things that you do in accordance with that, then... Um, then it's done its job, I guess. I think with it, that, like you said, the, the thing for us was about two years ago, we had our we had a sales call with this one of one of these business mentors who actually I haven't seen much of since we had that call. Funny enough, um, and I never forget that call. Me and you were both on the call together. We'll never forget it because he sat there and told us that the way that we did things, we would never grow a business. He mm. said you can't do it. He said it won't work. You have to do it his way. Now his way was big charge up front, huge amounts of money for a commitment. And then you put all that money back into ads and you start the process again over and over again. And we just didn't want to do that. We didn't feel comfortable doing it. And I think from that point, it kind of lit a fire in us. We were like, oh, we're going to prove you wrong because we believe that this is the right way of doing things. Yeah. And since that call, we've then just gone away, done our own thing, built our business as it is now. And since then, we've seen loads of people come forward as business mentors saying the exact same thing to people and people are falling for it. And I'm not saying that you're bad if you're falling for it because it does sound good. Like when you're on the call, it sounds impressive. It sounds like the way to do it. And when you've got someone there telling you, you can't do it, you will never grow, you'll never do this, then you will feel a bit like, well, shit, I better change and I better do it this way. But we're here to show you how we've done it and how we've built our business to where it is now. And like Mike said, if you can just take a little bit from that and go, actually, no, look, I am doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I just need to give it more time. I just need to be a bit more aggressive on certain elements of what I'm doing. 
But you've got to remember that all these mentors that are out there are trying to get quick, easy wins. They're trying to get you to, to where you want to be in three, four months. And we're here to tell you that you need to be thinking longer term than that. Because what's the point of making a 10K month within three months if three years later you've never made one ever again in your life? Yeah. It's pointless. And we were so close to not falling for it, but we were so close to believing that and thinking that. We've had conversations where we've been like, oh, maybe we should do that. Maybe we need to change the way we're doing things. But then we look back and go, well, no, we've built our business to where it is now on these fundamental principles that we believe are right. And we believed from the time that we felt better doing it that way than changing our principles and our values just to fit in with what business mentors were sort of saying. Well, the thing is, is that we, we never have changed our principles throughout. And, and you actually said to me the other day, you were, you were like... Um if people start to stumble on these new videos, they'll go back and watch the old ones. And the beauty of it is, is that we've not changed. Yeah. Like the beauty of it is, is that we've always stood for the no bullshit, I guess, approach. Like we've got, you know, that, that classic line of we've got nothing to sell you uh, as such. It's just like, well, this is what we do. And, yeah. and that's that. Like, whereas I think a lot of the business mentors are selling you another way. It's another product. It's another thing that's going to radically change your life because it's packaged that way. Mm. It, it's, okay, we're going to start to leverage this or leverage that or charge this or whatever, or I've got this particular strategy. And then I think what people are finding when they get into it is that actually th there is no particular strategy. It's just, it's just a load of videos and some calls and some group coaching calls. So we've decided to, instead of you going and paying um, five grand up front and a grand recurring a month for a business mentor, we'll just we'll just basically do the calls like yeah. like like, nice. <laughs> like we'll give you our like opinion. This. And again, you might go like I think there's there, there's something in it where it's where it's like well, what gives us the right uh, like what gives us the right to do it? So maybe we'll just go over some some basics because we're not we're not the flashiest of of people like. Um, I think, like, like with all these mentors, they get you in the money, right? They get you in with the, they sell you the, the dream of the money and the months and, and the 10K months, or they sell you the dream and all they talk about is money, mm. right? And because they know that that's a weak point, that's a stress point for yeah, you. Yeah. And look, we've all been there. We've all had stresses and strains with that. And I, I'll be honest as well, that as you start earning more, they don't really go away because no. you adjust your life to that number. And then all of a sudden, if you lose a few clients, you still feel shit. Yeah. You still feel like you, you, know, you wish yeah. you could do things differently. But so that never goes away. And we'll be completely honest about that. But I think it's that thing of, for us, we've never, when we started doing this, we never sat down together like this and went, right, we need a 10K month. No. Right, we need 100K. Right, we need to make, we need to turn over half a million in our first year or second year, whatever it is. We never sat down and talked about numbers. It was always just a case of, make sure that you coach your client to the best of your ability and the results will come. And we've always done that from day one. Mm. And I don't see any business mentors, one, sorry, the rest of them, I don't see them talking about coaching quality. I don't see them talking about getting results with clients. I don't see them talking about making sure that you give more to your client than 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 you should in terms of value or they're always talking about reducing check-in times, reducing contact, reducing the amount of work you have to do, but making more money. And it just doesn't make sense to me or you. I know that for a fact, because we've had discussions where we're like, how well, we both said it. We both said it. We have meetings where we both said it. <laughs> we, I don't understand how business mentors are sitting there with people who are clearly um, motivated by, by their business and want to do well. Tell them to work less and earn more. Like, no, it's like your client. It's like your client. So you go, oh, eat, eat more and lose weight. Oh yeah, that sounds like the dream, doesn't it? And you know that's bullshit. You know that people can't eat more and lose weight, right? You know that's not going to happen. It's not starvation. This is the equivalent. I'll tell you what, it's the business mentor equivalent of starvation mode. Yeah. Business mentors get you in starvation mode. That's your problem. Nah, it's not though, is it? It's definitely not the problem. The problem is elsewhere and it is actually doing the fundamentals consistently over time. That's the, the problem. The, the, the thing is, is it, it, the coaching has fallen by the wayside. So again, like, like Dan, like, like you've just said, is that we focused on reading research, getting educated, working with clients, getting good at working with clients as well, at the number of yep. clients that we had. So me and, me and Dan pretty much stayed within the 25 to 30 client bracket for, for two, three years, something along those lines. Um, which, again, you might think, oh, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. And, and look, it is, you know, and that's not a throwaway figure. 
Um, but it's just that these days it's all 10k months, 15k mm. months, and 20k months. Whereas 30k, you know, 30 30 clients was probably what six 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 five six k we were probably yeah. probably taking out. Which again, don't get me wrong, that is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic wage. When you think of the national average is something like two thousand. Yeah, it's an amazing wage for two days worth of work. It's, it's it's amazing. But we were never money motivated, and and that's kind of what like where people might throw it at at us. How can we believe you? It's like, we don't need to, to buy this or buy that or show off with that. And often the person looks wealthier because they've spent their money, but you don't see what's gone, gone on behind the yeah. scenes. But um, for us, it was never, ever about that. To the point where there's a literal um, instance where I have spoke to a guy maybe two or three days ago, and he's in a business mentorship or was in a business mentorship, a big one. And one of the, the girls in there... Um, is not even an, is not even a coach. She's never been qualified. She's got no qualifications. She doesn't know what she's doing, and the business mentor has told her to charge nine nine seven upfront for three months, which is more than us. By the way, more than us. We don't charge nine nine seven upfront for three months. That's more than what we what what we uh, charge. We've been doing this however many years. Got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of client results. Worked with just every kind of demographic you can think of. And there's a girl in there and she has said, I don't feel comfortable charging because I've not really got any experience. And they have, quote, told her, you are worth 997 for three months. And she's asking questions in the group like, how do I set somebody's calories? She's outsourced the training program into somebody else. And my problem is, is not so much on this girl, but it's the person who's paying the girl. Somebody's paying this girl a thousand of their hard-earned pounds for someone who's masquerading as a coach because her business mentor hasn't gone, okay, yeah. well, this is how you coach clients. This is how you onboard them. Here's what to look at at check-ins, which is what it should be. It should be you need to be bulletproof as a coach first rather than how about you take some fucking cash up front and don't worry about the pe- person paying their money. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. That's cash in the bank for us. That's another screenshot that I can fucking share. Yeah, and that's the thing is these lot are sharing the striped screenshots of their clients doing all this sort of stuff, but where's that coach going to be a year, two years down the line? They may be well off, but I can guarantee now their reputation is not going to be as good as yours might be or as good as ours is, hopefully. Uh, for those watching this may disagree, but it's one of those where you have to have the results to back it up. You have to have the ability to coach someone. So when someone comes to you, that, that girl in that situation, she's sitting there going, I don't feel confident doing this. And you probably sit there feeling sometimes, oh, I don't feel, I feel like I've got a bit of imposter syndrome. You know, you feel like, oh, am I really that good? And you look back over your results and go, no, you are qualified. You are educated. You are getting good results of people. And it's what's so frustrating. And it's why we've started doing these videos because we've sat by, we've looked at it for long enough and we've gone, look, do you know what? We do know enough to share some information and we're not going to like say wrap it up in a 20K a year fucking mentorship. But we know, and trust us on this, again, we know that there are people out there selling these mentorships who are doing less well than you think they are, but also haven't quite built the businesses they say they have. And that's their prerogative. They can lie, they can do all that sort of stuff to try and impress you. That's great, right? But when it comes down to it, they don't have the fundamental principles behind them to be able to tell you how to kind of successfully do this other than charge up front and get loads of money in. Well, great. How long is that going to work for? Like, but if you haven't got the results to back up and you don't get the results of people, you won't be able to, to back that up. So yes, like I said, for us, we don't talk about money. We don't talk about how much turnover we have. We don't talk about our months. We don't talk about things like that. We don't share our screenshots on Stripe. We don't share all that crap. But we don't feel like we need to because when you look at our pages, look at our results, we kind of go, well, look, that's our proof that we do what we do. We've got over 400 clients we work with as a, as a whole in our business. Mm. You do the maths, work it out, right? We've got group coaching. We've got a, a group coaching we do for coaches. We've got a group coaching we do for more gem pop. And then we've got our one-to-one coaching across the board for the coaches and us two as well at the moment. So yeah, go and do the maths on it if you're really that bothered. But it's one of those things where we don't need to shout about it. We just know that if we say we've got 400 clients, we go, well, that's kind of that should tell you everything you need to know. And a lot of these people don't have 400 clients. So if they do, they stuck them on in a Facebook group on a Zoom calls and tell, call it one to a mentor. And it's just, unfortunately, that's the way it's going. And we're not sitting here saying, look, we're business mentors. We're not. No. We are not in any way, shape or form business, business mentors. But I would argue that none of them are. None of them, are, no, no, like, don't get me wrong, but we're not calling ourselves that because yeah. of that reason, because they call themselves that and they are fucking dreadful. Believe us, right? What uh, we do is we coach coaches. Imagine co- imagine calling yourself a business mentor and having not a qualification in business. Do you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You can't call yourself that if it's, you don't even have 
fucking business for dummies qualification. It's it's honestly like, and, and and a lot of them like when you hear about how the businesses run behind the scenes, you kind of go, "It's not a business. That's you with a, with a laptop." And, and and that's the thing. Look, that's what we're all doing here. Like, let's not let's not pretend that we have this amazing fucking business and we're CEOs and all this shit. No, we do everything. We do everything, right? That's part of our job as an online coach. We do everything. But as I said before, we coach coaches, we hold them accountable. We make sure that they are on top of their nutrition, their training, as well as their business stuff, but not to the level of charge up front and do this. More, are you doing the basics you need to do? Much like you provide accountability to your clients where you go, are you hitting your protein? Are you doing your steps? Are you making sure that you're taking your measurements? You're doing your pictures? Can we see the changes? It's the same thing for coaches. It's the accountability at the very basic level that a lot of them lack. They look at the big picture ideas. They look at the, do I charge up front? Do I need to have a fancy sounding package? Um, Do I need to have a VA? Like they worry about all this stuff. Fuck off. But actually it's like, yeah, but are you posting Instagram? Or do you actually understand your niche? Are you actually understanding email marketing? Do you actually know how to connect with people? Are you getting results with the current clients you've got? Never mind trying to get more. Have you got the ability and the systems to take on new clients? That's that's the thing, is that- Frightening. Nobody's focusing on their current clients. (laughs) No, it's like- Always want more. More, more Are you good at the ones you've got? Nah, you need to, again, let's let's look at what what we've done. Because that's what we said we were going to do on this. Is that- we just got excellent results. Like we got really, really, really photoshoot good clients. results. Photoshoot clients. If you come into us, you're, you're probably gonna get eighty percent. Is probably gonna get a, a result that's good enough to go on on a page, right? Mm-hmm. And the twenty percent, as we all know, we're online coaches. Sometimes it doesn't work out. You know, sometimes a client maybe is not motivated. Sometimes there's a little bit of friction. Whatever. But eighty percent is is a pretty decent figure. I'm, I'm sure people will agree. And we did that by honing our craft, at our actual job. Like, mm. but it seems to have fallen by the wayside. That that that's the unimportant part now. That actually being the good coach is is nah. Forget about that. Don't worry about that. It's like you say, it's the sales script. It's the yeah. this. It's the that. How can I? How can I fleece people? And some of the stuff we're hearing is just that you shouldn't be doing video check-ins. Nobody nobody watches them. Apparently. What? Nobody's got time. Nobody's got time. Uh, yeah. Business mentor. Nobody. Yeah. Don't don't give your clients video check-ins. Nobody's got time to watch them. I tell you that they do watch them because when we send our Loom videos to our clients, you can see if they've you can see if they've watched them, and they all watch them uh, because uh, guess pre- what? Pretty quick, paying, pretty quickly. Uh, pretty as well. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll get a lot of them go. It's the best time of the week, or I was really looking forward to this, or yeah. I love getting your videos back because it really can't, sets me up. Can't because you're a good coach, mate. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Yeah, that's that's why video check-ins don't work for most coaches because they can't fucking do them properly. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, and it's like and you shouldn't be. Um, so there's something going around now where it's called um, where it was termed quote coaching goals that when somebody signs up now that they get given a 12 month package um of their entire training no. their entire nutrition right that's not coach goals that's not yeah no that, way that, that, that isn't coaching that's just a calculator spitting out some figures because what happens if next week the person's going to a wedding what happens if they're going on holiday what happens if they've got some work stress on what happens if the the the, the, the kid is sick like the, there's no coaching around it no like it's, it's just coach goals and then the whole type form leverage stuff it's like you need to give them a type form um, and they dis- and the type form decides whether they need a check in and the the ultimate thing here is to not really have as many touch points with your clients and charge them up front it's fucking criminal we're going to we're going to get into more of that as says as the videos progress and as we go into this but like i said that's what's coming we're going to do this every couple of couple of videos oh, every week coming. we're going to keep chatting through stuff and get the lawyers on standby look yeah get the lawyers on standby but look if you've got any if you've got any experiences from any of these mentorships you want to share with us message us on instagram drop us a dm we're happy to to obviously be anonymous with all this sort of stuff because we just want to show people that you're not alone because we know there are a lot of people out there who've been stung who've been absolutely fleeced by these people and and made to feel quite shit about themselves and we're here to tell you that look it doesn't have to be like that there are other ways of doing this Mm -hmm. um so yeah make sure to follow us on instagram we forget all of that we always forget that mike biceps banner dan biceps banner go give us a follow um and like you say subscribe to the channel as well Loads more of these coming uh, in the near future, so we'll uh, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Um, but stay tuned because uh, there is a lot more ranting to come. <laughs>